everybody. It's your friends and your family in the glory, Joshua and Janet Mills. <laughs> and we are in for such a night tonight. It's, I'm telling you, it's going to be amazing. Uh, we are going to be speaking about winning that battle that is in your mind. Praise God. You know, all over the world, I've traveled to over 80 countries we've been. And I have found that the largest spiritual warfare battle that people face in their life is the battle of the mind. And for that reason, I am so excited that my friend, our friend, yes. Kathy DeGraw, I mean, she's an expert on spiritual warfare and deliverance, right? She really is. She wrote a brand new book called Mind Battles, whew, right here. And not only do we have the book here tonight, which I encourage everybody to get, but Kathy's actually going to be joining us on this program so and walking us through specifically how to capture every thought. And that's, I mean, it's going to be powerful. This, this can literally be life changing for you tonight. Absolutely. The freedom that you've been believing for. Yes. Let's declare it here and now. I am so excited uh, for Kathy to be with us tonight. So excited for each and every one of you to get a copy yeah. of her book, Mind Battles. It is filled with God's word. It is filled with revelation. It is filled with applications and and freedom thoughts and prophetic applications yeah. for you to take the information and the revelation and the word that she has written down in this book and to be able to apply it to your life and see um, step by step, you walk into the freedom that you've been believing for. Listen, tonight, Kathy is going to share with us uh, the struggle that she even faced in her own mind battle, right? And the, and you might be in that place tonight. You might be like, I have been dealing with thoughts. I mean, we all at some time in our life absolutely deal. And I'm telling you, like I've walked through this situation in ministry. You're you're faced with a lot of really difficult uh, situations mm -hmm. when you're dealing with people that are coming from all different kinds of backgrounds, going through all different types of of scenarios, and. I have had my own battles of the mind. And I'm telling you, reading Kathy's book really gave me the tools that I needed to be able to capture every thought like, sure. like she talks about and really um, just take authority and have victory in the area of the mind. We want to thank all of our Miracle Worker partners who have continually supported this ministry with your monthly giving through both prayer support, financial support. Thank you so much for doing that. And of course, every viewer here tonight, we are so glad that you tuned in to be with us. Make sure that you subscribe to this channel, Amen. that you hit the like button. Uh, there's also a little bell that you can click to get notifications when new videos are posted. And one of the most important things I need you to do tonight is go to our website, joshuamills.com. And I want you to scroll to the bottom and add your name into our email list. Put your email address in there. The reason why is because Every single week, we are sending out Glory Bible Study notes or some sort of a, a free resource, resource yeah. to you that we're sowing into your life. And this week specifically, Kathy is giving to all of us, providing for all of us a sample chapter, chapter number six from her book, Mind Battles. And I know that it's going to be important for you to get this because like Janet said, it's scriptural, but Kathy also gives practical tools. So good. And um you know, it would be good for you to be able to have this, especially after our study's done tonight, to be able to go through and actually utilize that resource. And of course, get the book, right? Um, so go to joshuamills.com and put your name in our email list, and we'll be sure to send you that sample chapter tomorrow. And that's a gift from Kathy. So wonderful. Wow. I see so many of us, uh, so many of you joining already from all over Canada, from Yay. the East Coast to the West Coast, <laughs> all over the United States. And of course, we're so blessed to have each and every one of you and throughout the nations. It's so exciting to see so many joining us from all over the world. So we're so thankful. Oh, I see some people watching from Plano, Texas. Yes. We were, we're just, just in, in Dallas, Fort Worth area this past week. We were in Houston the weekend before with Joan Hunter. Those meetings were tremendous. We only got to catch the tail end of that conference. Mm -hmm. And there was a bunch of wonderful ministers at that conference, but we just got the tail end. But I'm telling you, the glory came. And then we were at, in Texas, we were at the minister's conference with Kenneth Copeland and um, a bunch of his friends and associates. Kelly Copeland had given us the invitation for that. And um, so it was great to be with Kelly and 
meet a whole bunch of new friends. So God awesome. is doing something in these days. I'm telling you where he's bringing the word and the spirit together. His messengers of the word, his messengers of the spirit, he's bringing mm -hmm. them together because there's more power when we're moving together in the glory. And so God's doing that. Yeah. And so can we bring our friend on? Are we ready? I think without delay, we <laughs> should bring in Kathy. I know you're waiting for her to come on here. So let's welcome Kathy DeGraw, all the way coming to us from Michigan. Hey, Kathy. Hi. Thank you so much, Joshua and Janet. It is an honor to be here. <laughs> Yay. Oh, we're so excited. It's we're an so honor excited for, us. for the anointing that you carry, the glory that you carry, the faith that you carry. And we just know there's going to be such a mighty release of of God through what you share tonight. So we're so excited that you could join us. Thank you. I'm so excited to get into this study tonight because you have done a tremendous job mm -hmm. in writing this book, Mind Battles. Um, tell me a little bit why you wrote this book. I mean, I'm always interested to know why somebody writes their books. Why'd you write Mind Battles? Well, first of all, I always love to give credit to the Holy Spirit because mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit wrote it because I wrote it in 30 days and that's only time by the Spirit of God, you know? That's amazing. That must you be a know, record. <laughs> yeah, like that was a record, honestly. But, you know, that just shows you it's it's Holy Spirit when we partner with him. So I just want to give yes. my best friend, the Holy Spirit, credit. But, you know, I struggled with mind battles for years. It was a generational curse. I was taught some mm -hmm. learned behavior patterns to be in fear and torment and how to react and act. And I really believe I took on some ownership of that. And over the years, I just felt like my mind was just like locked down and just like sometimes spiritually and emotionally paralyzed and just couldn't pull out of that. And after the Holy Spirit set me free, Jesus set me free, I was just like, this is like my lifelong mission. How can I release what yeah. they taught me and what they delivered me of to others? Yeah. And it's an honor every day to to just really be able to take the tools that I received and release it because we don't have to live in bondage and we don't have right. to live in fear, torment, worry, anxiety. And I was just like, there has to be something better and people need the tools. And I don't call it a book. I call it a manual. It's a workbook. Ooh, it, is. it really is. It makes you work through right. your breakthrough. Yes. And, you know, there's some people that are watching tonight that they know that they have major mind battles. I mean, they're under mental oppression. They're in constant torment, things like that. There may be other viewers that are watching and they say, I'm not sure. You know, I think maybe I'm just fine. But I love that when I was reading your book, Kathy, there was even like a small little thing you wrote about where even things concerning the weather and storms. And uh, you gave an example of like when somebody would be leaving your house, you know, the trip the traditional or the typical thing that people say is be safe. Don't get it in an accident. Right. And right. you mentioned how you turn that around to say something. I can't even remember exactly how you said that, but it was something about, you know, may the angels of God go with you and have a blessed journey or something like that. And it's like, even just those little tiny yes. things, the Bible says, that it's the little foxes mm -hmm. that spoil the vine. Yeah. And I think you help us in this book to discover the little foxes that have even occupied our mind in maybe areas that we don't recognize. Right. Because these words create expectation. So when you're, when, yeah. when the words kind of have, have a negative kind of connotation, there's an expectation towards the negative. That's where your thoughts are framed towards. Whereas if you're blessing somebody with um, may the angels go with you, I mean, that's what they're expecting. They're going to expect the angelic realm to go with them. They're going to expect God's miracles. That is so true. You know, I was raised 
in Michigan. And so yes. we had snowy, icy roads. Yeah, and right. as I was raised, it was like, don't go out. You're going to get in an accident. I mean, it was constant like fear put forth and, you know, it was always yeah. some negative, I'm going to say kind of word curses. Well, sure. those started to become me. And as my son began to drive, I'm like, well, I don't want to put those words on him. I don't want to put that fear, that anxiety, that, that worry, that same thing, you know, and Proverbs 18, 21 says death and life are in the power of the tongue. Yes. But also what our mind does is our mind ruminates, it loops, it thinks about those same negative things. And right. I didn't want my son getting in the car and being like, I got to worry I'm going to get in an accident. Right. And so I just learned early on to change my word choices. And I'd be like, be blessed, be safe. I send the angels forth to guard and protect <laughs> you. Have fun. And so I turned what would be a negative curse, you know, just things yeah. that we speak out naturally, you know, as that parent, you know, I thought, no, I'm going to speak life. I'm going to yes. speak blessing. I'm going to send those angels forth on assignment. Right. Yeah. They never have gotten in one accident. Praise the name of Jesus. <laughs> that is awesome. That's amazing. Well, words certainly help change the atmosphere, but the truth is if we want our words to be different, we've got to have our thinking different, right? And that's what yes. you're doing yeah. with this book is you're helping people get their thoughts aligned with the thoughts of heaven, with the thoughts of God. I had never heard about rumination until I, I until, until I read, read in your book and you speak about rumination. Can you describe exactly what that is to our viewers? So rumination is not a demonic spirit. That's when our, just our soul, our natural mind, our natural will and emotions in our brain just keeps looping. It's like being on that hamster wheel and you're going round and round and round. Right. I think a lot of people can relate to that. And so ruminating is our brain and our mind looping and going around that hamster wheel. But friends, we have control over it because yes, our yes. brain is changeable. God actually made our brain to change. And the Bible, it says his mercies are new every morning. And they actually are because we get new neurons in our brain every morning. Whoa. And so I know. Can you believe that? That's like, amazing. So this I is actually a this. scientific fact. Yeah. Yes. Or scientific truth that aligns yes. and shows us how, how real the word of God is. Yes. God knows. Wow, this is I, mean, I mean, is that like phenomenal? Our brain has neuroplasticity, it's called. And so it's ever changing. God made our brain to change, but now we can align it with the word of God. We actually oh, yeah. wake up with 8,000 new neurons in our brain every morning. And then the Thank word of God was. says, Amazing. our mercies are new every morning. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm oh, feeling the fire on that one. <laughs> I know. So it's like, what are we doing? And this is what I want to tell you, friends. I think this is so important. What are we doing with our minds first thing yes. in the morning right. when those scientific neurons are new? And the Bible says his mercies are new every morning is what we put in in those right. first God. few minutes or half hour or 20 minutes that can orchestrate the course yes. of our day and yes. help our neurons change into yes. a place of positive positivity and expectation and miracles. Wow. I mean, that gives us new light, even in the importance of focusing on God in the morning with the scriptures, studying yes. the word or just meditating, you know, upon a few scriptures in the morning, spending time in prayer, speaking yeah. to him, giving him an early morning praise and worship, just allowing those songs to come from our spirit. This gives us a whole new understanding of how important that is, because in a way we're training those new neurons to react and yes. interact with the heavenly realm. We, we totally are. And so think about this, friends. If we are just, you know, like when I wake up in the morning, the first thing I do is soak. You know, I'm just soaking in the presence of the Father and, and worshiping and adoring and, and just allowing him to speak to me. And so think about that. If we are... Yes resting in his presence the first thing 
We are putting our mind in a position to hear from Holy Spirit. And what do we want more than anything else? Like the number one question I get, I'm a prophetic spiritual warfare deliverance minister. And the number one question people get is how do I hear from God? How do I discern? And see, we have this opportunity every morning to put ourselves and to train our natural brain to align with our spirit man, yes, to align so with the Holy Spirit, to align with the heavenly Jesus. father. And so we have this opportunity to train our brain to receive not only yes. just in our spirit, man, but in our soul. Yes. Wow. So good. It's so amazing. We're talking about capturing every thought. And of course, for those of you that are watching, I Highly encourage you to get a copy of Kathy's brand new book. Today is actually release day. Happy yes. release day, Kathy. Yay, yes, it's amazing. You. The brand new book is Mind Battles. You can see it uh, named right da- down there on the screen. Of course, you can visit Kathy's website, kathydegrandministries.org, to not only get this book, but all of Kathy's resources. And believe me, she has a lot of resources, especially if you feel like you're stuck in a battle, like you've been dealing with intense spiritual warfare over any given matter, she has got resources that are available to help you, to train you, the tools that will help you break out of the prison, the demonic bondage you've been in, and come all the way through into so freedom. So I highly encourage you to go get this brand new book, Mind Freedom, hot off the press. Ooh, it's hot in my hands right now. <laughs> but I want to turn to, we're talking about capturing every thought. I want to turn to yeah. 2 Corinthians chapter 5. Uh, uh, sorry, chapter 10, verse 5. Yes, yes. Janet, would you read this out of, um, what translation I've are you reading I've got the NIV of? translation, okay. and I'll start in verse 4. Uh, the weapons we fight with are not the weapons of the world. On the contrary, they have divine power to demolish strongholds. Verse 5, we demolish arguments and yes. pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God, and we take captive. Ooh, Every there it is. thought to make it obedient to Christ Jesus. We've got to take captive every thought. And yes, you yes. do such a good job, Kathy, in this entire chapter, chapter six of Mind Battles. You do such, such an awesome job just walking us through this process. So where do we start? Taking every thought captive. You know, when we study this out, and this is what I love about taking every thought captive. I quote that to myself about 10 or 20 times a day. Mm -hmm. But when we study that out in the Jewish, in the original text, it actually means does the thought that we have obey the Messiah? We have to bring that thought into obedience to the Messiah, into the word of God and submit it to the word of God. So instantly, what I want to tell people, and this is just going back to the simplicity, it's just a thought. It's not an activation. It's not in manifestation. When you're in stress or worry and anxiety or fear, it is just a thought. And we have to dismiss it instead of entertaining it. And any thought that is contrary to the word of God, not the way Jesus would think, we have to ditch it and pitch it if it doesn't align. Right. I like that. You need to write, those of you that are watching right now, you need to write that in the comments below. Ditch and pitch the negative thoughts. Ditch and pitch the demonic influence. Because if we don't ditch it and pitch it, we sit and think and rot and stink. Ooh. Yeah. That's what we do. I got it right in the book. We got to ditch it and pitch it because we sit and think and rot and stink. But friends, I want to be honest. It's hard to capture that thought. It's, it's work. You know, when the enemy, I'm going to get my little brain here. Okay. So when the enemy is like, you know, squeezing your mind and trying to lock down and emotionally, you know, paralyze you, it's hard because you're believing that negativity that you're hearing in your mind and you're feeling so tormented and traumatized. It's like, how do I cast that thought out? And what the Holy Spirit told me years ago, he said, Kathy, if you fill your mind so full of the word of God, there will be no room for torment. I think that's so good. And so God, Yeah, it really is. Um, I remember you sharing that a few weeks ago when we were up in 
Nashville together. And I do want to put a little whisper in people's ear right now that we did actually um, record a soaking CD together, um, a ministry CD, and it's called Mind Freedom. It's going to be coming out sometime in the future. Um, but you shared that about God giving you that revelation about filling yourself with the mind of, of God through receiving his words, just becoming so full of scripture, becoming yeah. so full of the word of God that nothing else can possess you. Nothing else can take over your thoughts. And I think that's so powerful. But we need positive thoughts and positive yes. scriptures. And so I think, Joshua, what we need to sometimes do in order to renew our thoughts is, you know, we can't always be intense like always binding and rebuking the enemy. You know, we can't always be, yes. you know, fighting that fight and, and having a war and stuff like that, guys. We just have to say, I'm victorious through Christ Jesus. I'm an overcomer. Yes. I overcome by, you know, the blood of the lamb and the word of his testimony. I'm blessed in my coming. I'm blessed in my going. Yes. I'm the head and not the tail. I'm above and not beneath. No weapon formed against me is going to prosper. I have a sound mind. I have the mind of Christ. I think right thoughts. You know, we have to look at, you know, he says in Romans 8, 28, all things are working together for the good of those who love God, who have been called according to his purpose. And so just, yes. you know, quoting that out and saying, I am, all things are working together because I'm called according to his purpose. He has yes. my interests. He knows the plans that he has for me, plans to prosper in me, not to harm me, to give me a future and a hope. And guys, that's what we got to do. That really renews our mind because yes. let's face it, our mind has enough negativity. We don't got to be always, you know, fighting that war against the devil. Sometimes the war isn't against the devil. Sometimes the war is against our own flesh. That's and so true. you know, it's it's true. And and the way that we've been trained and and unfortunately taught by our parents. And so if we could just fill it up with the abundant positive scriptures, you're going to be on your way to victory. Amen. Amen. This is so good what you're sharing, Kathy. And I think it's so good for us to hear. It's good for us to be reminded of. It's good for those that are watching to hear. But I encourage everyone that's watching right now, you need to share this. You've got friends, you've got mm -hmm. relatives, you've got parents, you've got siblings, you've got different people that are in your life that have been dealing with intense warfare when it comes to the mind. Yeah. And these things that Kathy is sharing from the word of God, this is God's idea. These are God's thoughts. These are heavenly tools that are being given to us to defeat the enemy and to win the mind war, to get through these mind battles in a victorious way. And so I encourage you right now, share this on Facebook. Go ahead and text the link to somebody. Take the YouTube video and spread it out through yes. email. However you can, just get this message out because there's mm -hmm. people who need to hear this and it will be a tremendous blessing for them if you send this broadcast to them. So go ahead and do that right now. It's really a life-saving message. I mean- Oh, it is in so many ways. So many people are battling with such intense depression suicidal thoughts. I mean, people need to experience and know the freedom that Christ has made for them. And if you don't capture every thought, now I, I can only talk about myself here, but I know that there have been times, Kathy, when I didn't capture the thought initially and I entertained those first thoughts that came. And then they started to lead me into, I don't know what I should call it, like fantasy land. I'm talking about Thoughts that are not based in any type of reality, but so many different scenarios, like bad scenarios playing out of my mind, like it's going to go this way or it's going to go that way. And you can find yourself down so many horrible little rabbit trails. And I am thankful for the Holy Spirit Amen. who in the midst of that woke me up and is like, get back to reality. <laughs> And by reality, I'm talking about the word of God, yes. what God True says, reality. the truth, what God yes. says about me. Yes. I'm so thankful for that. But what would you say to the person who has struggled for years and years and they have gone down these trails and their brain has gone into these places? How are they able to get out of those really dark places where they found themselves? 
Well, I think what you got to look at is, you know, and you talk about this in your book, Creative Glory, is God made our mind to be creative. You know, he yeah. created us to have imagination. But what we're doing is we're taking that and we're distorting something that God meant for good. And it yeah. becomes vain imaginations, false scenarios, right. exaggeration. What happens is we get one little thing. And what my husband says is he's like, Kathy, you'd get like one little mind piercing thing. And then you just let all those dominoes fall into such a negative direction. So yeah. first of all, friends, you have to be able to root out, you have to be able to identify. And that's what we're yes. talking about in mind battles. There's charts and graphs and exercises. I don't even wait till the end of the chapter. I interrupt my writing to get right. your freedom. So good. And you, do. So, you know, there's charts of like, what triggers me? You really have to know what is that trigger. And then you have to remove yourself from the trigger. Now, let me just talk about something current that a lot of you could probably relate to. And I hate to keep discussing it, but you know, a few years ago, COVID plagued. So maybe you were never in fear of sickness. You were never in fear of disease. You weren't afraid of death or dying or anything, but now you get yourself a around media and people and they're all afraid and they're in fear and now you're taking on that fear. So now you just found what is the root? I'm around negative people. I'm around people that don't have faith or you right. know you have to find that root. Now can you remove yourself in everyone's life that's negative or in fear? No, but you can shut the conversation down. You can turn that negative into a positive. You know, I love the story of the paralytic and Mark, you know, his buddies had such crazy wild faith that they peeled off the roof of the hut, lowered their friend in. And that's what we need to do. We need to get around those people yes. who are going to help us draw out of that dark place place. We have to remove the triggers. Like one example I have was uh, my family was very negative when it came to health ailments. And okay. so they would always think the worst. And I know a lot of you watching and listening right now can totally relate to that. You know, some little health ailment and all of a sudden mom or sisters thinking the worst and, you know, putting up some word curses and stuff. And so I literally had to start learning, how do I shut that conversation down? How do I turn their negative into a positive? Even sometimes taking the phone and turning it away from my ear, you know, and just kind of checking back in. And so I think we have to, you know, what, Ever it is, friends, is root out what what is triggering, what is triggering. Yes. And because whatever triggers feeds the fuel to that negativity and to that torment. And yes. I love to say to people, you know, I love anointing oil. Take that mind and anoint that mind every day and yes. declare and decree. Mm. I have the mind of th Christ. I yes. think yes. right I thoughts. People do. are not going to influence my thinking. I'm not going to go into negativity and fear and, and suicide and, and depression. And, and Janet, I thought it was interesting that you mentioned suicide because in the very first first chapter of the book, the Holy Spirit blew in, had me stop writing and release a prophetic word in deliverance for people with the spirit oh, of suicide. Wow. Like that was prophetic that you said that because Thank someone you, needs Lord. to hear that. Yes. I mean, like, yes. I mean, in the first chapter, I, I just was like, okay, someone needs to hear this right now. And so whoever uh, needs to hear that right now, I just, I don't even want you to wait to get the book. I just pray over that spirit yes, of suicide in you in the name of Jesus. Yes. And I command that torment to go. I say your life is worth living, that you yes. have a prophetic destiny and calling that God yes, wants you to Lord. accomplish, that you have a sphere of influence in this world for you to get. And I want you to know whoever needs that word right now. And I, I know 
it's multiple people is what the Holy Spirit's telling me is who's ever being attacked that fierce. It's because God wants to use you and the devil's attacking you because he knows that God's going to use you. He knows that you have a message to share. He knows that you have someone to reach. And so just, we release you from that mind binding torment right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. That spirit of suicide <coughs> um, has tried to influence this world in yeah. such a, a terrible way in these days. And it's connected with the spirit of fear that you talked about, Kathy. And I love that in your book, you have a section where you talk about power and love over yes. fear. And you, you literally talk to us about the way that we can conquer that spirit of fear that tries to manifest in so many different ways and tries to, of course, influence our thinking, bringing negative thinking and chaos and confusion to our minds and suicide spirits and all of that. But I love that you share out of 2 Timothy. I love this verse so much. 2 Timothy yes. chapter 1, verse 7, that says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love, and of a sound mind. Can you speak a little bit more about power and love over fear? See, we have a spirit of power and love. In this verse, it says, I have not been given a spirit of fear, which fear is also translated intimidation, mm. but I have been given a spirit of power, love. And then when we go further, it says sound mind in the New King James. But when we look at the modern English version and the complete Jewish version, it says self-disciplined and self-controlled. And I think what the issue is, friends, is we're so busy with that first part of the verse saying, I cast out a spirit of fear. I cast out a spirit of fear. Again, we're just always binding and restricting. I bind fear. I bind fear. I bind fear. Then we're not looking what we have been given. Yeah. We have been given power and love. Oh, we have been yes. given the same resurrection power that raised Jesus Christ from the dead, the Holy Ghost. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. We have resurrection life and power inside yes. of us. And the abundant love of the Father, it says perfect love cast out fear. The yes. greatest yes. of these is love. And so we really have to look at these words, power and love. We've been given power and love. Yes. And so when we really internalize that, okay, we have, I know you friends, you have the Holy Spirit because you're watching Glory yes. Bible study. And yes. I tell you, they know all about the Holy Spirit. And if you don't, the miracle of the oil book will tell you more, <laughs> you know? So look at that and pull on your spirit, man, manifest yes. that power and love out. And so when your mind is either ruminating out of your flesh or being demonically tormented, okay, release power and love. So how do you do that? Let's give you a practical application. Your yeah, mind's being tormented. Take that thought and transfer it down to your heart, to the place where the love of the Father exists and mm. resides. Mm. So do a visual exercise and just say, wow. I'm going to capture that thought. Second Corinthians 10, that. four and five. I'm going to capture that thought Yes. and I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it down in the place in my heart where the love of the father is. And I will tell you guys, I was one of the most analytical people in the world. And I learned this exercise and I no longer overanalyze. I can enter into worship without distracting thoughts. I can get free from those mind binding spirits. I just be like, Lord Jesus, you love me enough that you delivered me. So I'm going to trust you, Father. I'm going to take that thought. I'm going to just let it be captured yes. in that place of love. Because we have love and we have Holy Ghost power. So when Amen. we look at that power, friends, can I tell you a secret? You don't have to do this alone. You do not have to do deliverance or liberation mind battles alone. Because the Holy Spirit is in you. So yes. good. 
so and good. she's been given all power and authority. Yes. All power and authority. And what and, and I love that you said that, Janet, because when I was looking at the notes earlier, I'm like, guys, we've been given power and authority over the demonic realm and over yes. our own minds. Yes. And the Bible yes. says all things. What does all mean? All means all. all. That means we have power and authority over the demonic battles and over our own mind. So yes. that equals what? Victory. Yes. Amen. Absolutely. And you know, Kathy, something that we so love and appreciate about you and your ministry is that you are very powerful when it comes to spiritual warfare. And Janet and I, we believe in, in spiritual warfare. It's a very real thing. If anyone's going to be honest, we have to admit that there is a war in the heavenlies. There is a war on mm -hmm. earth. It's a spiritual battle. But I love that you approach spiritual warfare from a different perspective than Maybe in the past it has been approached. You don't empower the enemy oh or glorify the enemy, but you are empowering people to understand that we already have the victory, that the victory is secure in Christ Jesus. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, we have all power over the enemy. And this is what makes the difference. And I think this is some of the reason why your training on spiritual warfare is so effective and has such good or godly yes. results because yes. you are teaching people how to connect to the truth of who they are in God, the truth of God's word. And in that people are discovering their freedom, recognizing that Christ really did pay for this freedom over 2000 years ago. And it's about time we received it. Mm. Amen. That is so true. And really, friends, it's all about partnering with the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. You know, that's that's really my heart and and my passion, my, my e-church, one of my books, my podcast. They're all called prophetic spiritual warfare because yes. it's partnering with the Holy Spirit to conquer spiritual warfare. Jesus already conquered it. Now we just got to partner with the Holy Spirit to receive it and do our little tweaks. You know, how do we receive it? How do we change some, some mind battles? And, you know, I think we can become addicted to the ministry of deliverance and casting out a demon and casting out a demon. Jesus purchased it at the cross. We yes. got to receive it. We got to walk in our identity, yeah. our authority, yes. our inheritance. And, and it's not just about casting out a demon. It's about us taking responsibility, growing in our spiritual walk, us getting this book and pressing through to the breakthrough, doing the exercises, not just waiting for a deliverance minister to come in your town, yes. but filling yourself up with the word of God. So any mind renewal is going to be transformed in the word and any demons that you might have is going to flee because you're so full of the word. It doesn't want to live in your same flesh suit that the Holy Spirit's living in. Yeah. And so guys, Ooh. it is time that we just arise. The Lord has so much in store for you so much. Yes. And I just, I don't want you to live in bondage another day. You can Come on. be you can be free. You know, I, I want to tell you the key to my freedom. This was the key to my freedom. And you all have this available. Okay. Is I spent two years of my life prostrate on the floor with the Holy Spirit. Now I'm going to plug Joshua and Janet because they have this whole big soaking CD <laughs> volumes for you guys to get. And that's what I did. I just prostrated myself and I just got with the Holy Spirit because I just loved Jesus and wanted to know the Holy Spirit. I didn't go to the floor because I wanted deliverance. Deliverance was a manifestation of the time I spent yes. in the presence. Wow. Good. Come on. Did you hear that? Uh, yeah. Deliverance is a manifestation of just wanting the heart of the greatest team of three that we have. Father God, Jesus, Jesus. His son and Holy Spirit. And because <laughs> of just seeking and pursuing and, and loving, I, I'm a worshiper, guys. I love the flags. I love the shofars. I love the banners. I love to sing. And I love to dance, <laughs> you know, and that was the key really honestly and and i put some of that in the book but that was the key is just you know loving on jesus being with the yes. holy spirit 
And I think we need balance, Joshua. That's what I think. I think when we're we going do. to deliverance and spiritual warfare, I think we've gotten out of balance. Yeah. And, you know, if God wants to use me to balance it, praise him. You know, yes. let, let's bring praise balance God. because you know what I believe? I believe balance is going to bring freedom because think about it, friends. Yes. Some of you are still bound. You haven't got the freedom that you've been longing for. So now let's work it out. Let's walk out our breakthrough. Yes. You know, yes. in the Bible, it says walk out our salvation. And it actually means, you know, deliverance. We need to work out our deliverance and walk that out. So let's walk, it, walk out. it out. But let's also do that in the presence of the Lord, just soaking Amen. and making ourselves available for the Holy Spirit to convict us of what needs to change in our lives. Yes. One moment in God's presence changes everything forever. One moment in the manifest presence of his glory. Yeah. More for us in an mm. instant than Woo. we could ever do in a lifetime of self-effort. Yes. And so Woo. I love that, you know, the way that you write, Kathy, the perspective that you're bringing to us in Mind Battles. And if you haven't, if you're just tuning in, you haven't heard yet, Kathy's brand new book, Mind Battles, is available today. It's hot off the press. Today is release day. We are mm -hmm. celebrating this message because it's going to go all around the world and help so many people Un, untold hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people are going to be Thank set free in their yes. mind because mm. of the message in this, in this and book. And I love the emphasis that you keep on emphasizing to everyone is the intimate relationship with God. It's all about that. With the Holy Spirit. Mm. Yes. Yeah. This is where it all begins and this is where it all flows from. Yes, absolutely. And, you know, Kathy, I love that in these pages, we've already said this, but you provide tools, you provide activations for the reader. And there's one specifically in chapter six that I want to talk about. That's the freedom application. And if you can see the book there, it's so awesome. I mean, there's a chart right here. It's step by step. It's all very plainly laid out. It's so easily accessible for anybody who gets this book. Yes. And we're gonna go ahead and send the chapter number six to all those who are watching tonight that get on our email list. This is a gift from Kathy to you is chapter number six. And I think once you work through that, you're gonna to wanna to get the whole book because Amen. you're gonna see yes, how powerful this is. Uh, but get on our email list. You can do that by visiting joshuamills.com, visiting our website. And of course, if you want more information about Kathy, and her ministry and what she's doing to help bring people freedom all over the world. You can visit Kathy DeGraw ministries.org and, uh, and you can get more information there, but Kathy, um, tell us a little bit about this freedom application. Yes. So what you need to think about is a military commander has a battle plan to win the war. And yes. that's what we need. We need a battle plan. And so in this chapter that you guys are going to get for free, so you're going to be on your way to freedom really soon, okay? It's like, what is your plan of action? And I take you through it. First, we have to identify it, you know? What are the... And it's easy. What are the three greatest things that you struggle with in your mind? Or what are the three biggest things holding you back from the fullness of God, I like to say? And that's just how easy. You can identify that in a minute. And yeah. I love that. So then we got to target it. Is it emotional? Is it spiritual? Is it something right. that you grew up with? You know, is it something where you got to renew your mind, where you got to change? Or is it a demonic attack? And right. so we got to identify, you know, what is the source? And, you know, as a deliverance minister, friends, I do think some of this is demonic. And I think that we do have to do what Jesus said once in a while and cast out a demon, you know? Yeah. And so we have to acknowledge both the emotional and the spiritual, both the strong hold really and the strong men. Amen. But we have to rebuke it. And I think this is one place, Joshua and Janet, that people don't do. We're just like, I rebuke you, devil. I rebuke you, devil. I rebuke you, devil. But you see, one of the ways that we're not winning the war in our mind is we're not praying out loud. We got to be praying audibly. We yes. got to be, yes. you know, yes. it's so important to decree, declare, to bind, restrict, you know, to hear that, you know, word going out. Amen. 
And so that is just like so very, very important. And so I want you to think about that. You know, when you rebuke the enemy, it's just like, you know, I bind and restrict that faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. Yes. We sometimes need to hear ourselves rebuke the enemy. The angels and demons need to hear it. But they rebuke do. means take authority. Yeah. It's, give it a follow up command. It's not just enough to pray in our mind. I rebuke you. I rebuke you. Yes. So got to rebuke it. And then we got to implement it. We got to make that plan of action. I think we're too passive friends. I think we're too mm -hmm. stagnant. We're waiting for a deliverance minister to fix yes. us or a pastor or a leader it. to fix Somebody us. Somebody else to do it. Yeah, we are. Yeah. We don't want to take responsibility. We don't want to do the work and the labor and we got to press through to yeah. our breakthrough. We yeah. have to break those prison bars. You know, if you look at that brain on the book and on the graphic, you know, those are your hands breaking that prison bar because Jesus yes. said, I give you authority. Yes. He say I give your pastor authority over you or I give a teacher authority. He said, I give you authority. And you we gotta got to attack it. it. Attack it is taking a scripture, decree, declaring, yeah. get up, get moving, yeah. get off your butt. <laughs> Come on. The wow. Holy Ghost told me a long time ago. He said, Kathy, when you're praying, I want you up. I want you moving. I, I even take my sword off the wall and I'll fling that yes. sword and I'll blow that so far and get oh. moving. And friends, when we do, bondage breaks. We got to yes. discover those emotional triggers and then we got to yes. address them and then we got to release that, not receive it into us further. Yeah, we got to release, release it. it. We got to abort its mission and assignment. And that's both spiritually and emotionally, friends. But I, I got to tell you something. You're the only one that can do it. It's you, true. It's your mind. It's your breakthrough. It's yeah. your challenge. It's your issue. It's your responsibility. Yeah. And you're the one that has to do it. And I have fought these battles. I, I'm 55 years old. And for 40 years, I had fear. And when that torment came, when that battle came, nobody could fix me. Nobody delivered me. I had no deliverance minister. Nobody cast any demons out. I went to the Holy Spirit and I warred and I fought for my freedom because I wanted my freedom so you could have your freedom so I could empower you. But no one could win that battle. I'd pull my husband. I'd be like, come on, pray with me on the couch. We're not leaving this couch until the torment leaves. And he'd pray with me. God bless us. But <laughs> you know what? It was my declaring Mm -hmm. My declaration, my taking that thought captive, my casting it down. You have more authority over your situation than anybody else. So friends, yes. you're worth it. Arise and take yes. it and change and capture the thought. Wow. Yes. What you're sharing, Kathy, is that it's up to us to come into agreement with what God thinks about us who God's made us to be, who he's created us to be. We have to come into agreement with his spirit that's living within us, that gives us the power, the Jesus. victory, the authority, all of that. And I just so love what you've shared here because you have given to those who have ears to hear and a heart that's open to receive. You have given us very scriptural keys, practical applications that we can walk through. And here in just this one free. Freedom app, and there's eight, yeah, you know, eight very clear steps to take in this pathway to receiving mind freedom. And I love that but you can even, you've made a chart there, yes, where they can even write down those things as they're doing the step by step. It's so powerful. This. Um, Janet, there was something that you, you were telling me this afternoon that you so love about this book. Uh, some of the things that Kathy has written in, in this book here, some. Freedom. Well, the freedom thoughts, the freedom yeah. applications. I loved how interactive this book is and the step-by-step -step of me taking responsibility and walking through and not just hearing and reading something, but literally got to do it. allowing it to come in and yeah. me activate and walk these truths out. And that's what I love so much about it. I love so much the prophetic applications. I'm very much into decreeing and declaring 
And I'm very much aware of the power of releasing the spoken word, creative uh, glory manifests from the spoken word. Yes. We create worlds from the words that we speak. We and do. so our I, realities that we walk into yes. are formed by the words that we speak every single day. Yeah. Yes. So I just love the interaction that um, I can partner with the Holy Spirit and page by page, there's opportunity. I really thought, you know, don't rush through this book. Take a chapter at a time and really spend time experiencing the freedom that God has for you. I don't even I, think I would, you can take a chapter at a time. I think you're going to have to take page like at a, a, time. a quarter of a bit at a time. I agree with that because there's so much amazing content, spirit filled, so God much. orchestrated, um, glory breathed content in yes. this book. Uh, some of the things, you know, just looking at the table of contents here, there's things like a whole, you open the, the book with the chapter called Mental Triggers that we encounter and you deal with that. Um, identify sources of mind influencers. Yeah. The third chapter is be aware of the spiritual battle. Fourth chapter is break agreement, receive freedom. Chapter five is stop fear. Uh, and of course, we're dealing with chapter six right now, capturing every thought. Chapter seven, exposing mind binding spirits. Chapter eight, exposing fears, hidden force. Chapter nine, trust releases breakthrough. Chapter 10, overcome soulish mentalities. And there's 13 chapters in total, plus a closing prophetic word. And in all of this, I mean, each and every one of us deal with different aspects yeah. of what you address in each of these chapters, Kathy. This book is so powerful. It's so needed. It has come. I wrote today, um, I went on Amazon and I wrote a review for this book because I believe in the power of this book and what God's going to do with this. But I actually wrote on Amazon, I said, in the chaos and confusion that has seemed to possess this world, this book was written for such a time as this. Mm, yes. We need this book now more than ever before. This helps us open the scriptures, which is, of course, God's word is the greatest book. We know that. Yes. People don't know what scripture to go to, what what page to turn to. And you so gracefully lay it out for us here in this book to help us receive the deliverance that we need. Yeah. So I want to thank you, Kathy, once again for writing this book, Mind Battles. I encourage every single one of you that's watching tonight to go get your copy. Rush right now to <laughs> wherever you like to get your Christian books, whether it's it's uh, your favorite online retailer, or whether you'd like to go to Kathy DeGrom Ministries.org, which I encourage you to support Kathy on her website because, of course, it's always best for the author. But wherever you get your books, get a copy of Mind Battles because it is available not just for you to read, but for you to receive, to work with, mm -hmm. and for you to walk in your deliverance. Kathy, can you just pray over everybody as we're getting ready to close the program tonight? Yes. Heavenly Father, we just thank you and praise you for each and every viewer and listener, our friend, our family. We thank you and praise you that you brought them yes. here, Holy Spirit, mm. for this impartation, for such a time as this, for this breakthrough. And so we just release the breaker anointing in your life that's going to break up that mind bondage in the name of Jesus, every demon, every evil spirit to leave in the name of Jesus, every looping, every ruminating thought for you to take that thought captive in Jesus Christ's name for the Holy Spirit to send conviction upon you when you need yes, to Lord. take that thought captive, when you need to be in the word, when you need to renew your mind. And I just speak and decree that negativity will be a thing in the past, that you will think positive, that you will fill and align yourself with the word of God, with the Holy scriptures, that you will partner with the Holy Spirit. Every mind binding torment, I command you to cease in the name of Jesus. Yes, every spirit Lord. of stress and anxiety and worry and depression, we loose your hold and say, let let them go in the name of Jesus and Holy Spirit. We ask that you just come pour in them, fill them to abundance. Father, let them feel your love, your presence, your glory, yes. renew them and wash them clean. And I just pray for a strong drive and perseverance in you to press through to your breakthrough in the name of Jesus. In the name Hallelujah. Of Jesus. Amen. 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 That's Lord. so powerful. Listen, before we close, there's something very exciting we want to do. Kathy, you sent 
For our Glory Bible Study viewers, you sent a copy of Mind Battles along with this great little prize package here, which I got to tell you, Kathy, you put together the most amazing little promo pack. And I know it's available for people to purchase on your website only. I think it's exclusive to your website, right? Yes. The, the promo package. Um, you sent this to our home the other day, and I was so excited to receive it. So it funny. has that little brain, that <laughs> release piece brain. It's a stress ball reliever. And I think this is just so great. Reminds you to take captive every thought. It has a little tiny uh, maze, a cross maze in it. There's a little, oh, our girls love these. The little oh, poppers. Yes, the poppets. Yep. And it's got some pens and it's got this beautiful magnet. Turn your thoughts towards good and God. Little speech bubble. Um, there, there's just so many wonderful little things in here along with, and I love this, the bracelet. Here, Janet, I'll put this on you. It says, Cap this is the Capture Every Thought bracelet. Now, you can get just the bracelet on Kathy's website. Yes. You can also get it in the promo pack. And um, and then there's the Mind Battle cards. Love oh, them. those are my oh, favorite. Okay, so I got to open this up and show our viewers yeah. real quick. Excuse me. Yeah, that, that was my the, favorite. The fact that um, you gave this to give away. So we're going to actually do a giveaway in a moment. So you don't want to go anywhere. Um, this card is the Don't Sit and Think. You'll rot and stink. Get up, get busy, redirect your thoughts. You can do it. Fight the battle for your mind. You're worth it. Yes. Each of these, if, yes. if you're really going through something and you just need like a mama's voice yes. to be like, <laughs> come on. Authoritative. Uh, <laughs> you just pull this out, right? And then you just remember what Kathy said. Yes. <laughs> Perseverance <laughs> equals moving forward despite opposition. Come on. The battle for your freedom may be fierce, but you are worth it. Therefore, if the sun sets you free, you shall be free indeed. I mean, so much encouragement in these. And again, these mind battle cards are available on Kathy's website. Do you want to put that website mm -hmm. address up there? And then everybody can go there to get these the mind battle uh, cards, the capture every thought bracelet. And then there's also this little mirror. See yourself set free from mind battles. And there's a mirror inside. Look at this, Janet. See yourself set free. <laughs> I'm free indeed. <laughs> yes, you are free indeed. Amen. Kathy, I love your creativity with all of the, this. It's it is amazing. Clearly, creative glory is flowing through you in a very strong way. And I, I love that. But listen, we're going to give away this book that Kathy has made available for one person who's the, the blessed winner. And then also <laughs> uh, this little prize packet pouch that has some of those goodies we just showed you. Some of those are in here. We're going to send these to you. But Kathy, you've got a question you're going to ask our viewers and then, of course, those of you that are watching, we want you to write in the comments right away the correct answer. And through random selection, we're going to pick one winner. and We're going to announce it on the screen in just a moment. So what's yeah. the question, Kathy? So we were talking about 2 Timothy 1.7, and I was explaining to you specifically some interpretation of the words in that verse. And so I want to know who remembers a specific word in that verse that we were talking about or took notes on it. Put that up in the comment right now. And what was the verse again? What was the 2 Timothy 1 7? I've not been given a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. But I interpreted some of those words a little yes. bit differently based yeah. on the versions and, and scriptures. This is a, a good one. This is going to make people think. Come on. Go back to remember what was said. So, write in your answer right now. We're going to see what comes up here. There's a lot of people writing the, the scripture, speaking about power and love. What are the key words? What are the words that... Karen words... mentioned one up here. Oh, Karen, yeah. let me find yeah. you. Oh, okay. oh, there she is. Yeah. Karen. That's right. Intimidation. Fear yes. Was translated to intimidation. Congratulations, Karen. You are the winner Karen of... Karen Halgren. The Mind Battles book and the special little surprise prize pack. So... Um, go ahead and send us, Karen, go ahead and send us an email, office at internationalglory.org. And when you write us there, there it is, office at internationalglory.org. Make sure that you send us your best mailing address, and we'll go ahead and put this in the mail for you, courtesy of Kathy. Thank you, Kathy, for these wonderful prizes. Thank you, Joshua and Janet, for having me just be part of this Glory Bible study. I am so honored 
uh, yeah, blessings on well, you and your ministry. You are great. I pray everybody that's why goes out and gets a copy of Mind Battles because it's so powerful. And listen, that's it tonight for Glory Bible Study. We love you. The glory loves you. That's right. You said it all. <laughs> Stay in the, the glory. The glory loves you, and so do we. God bless each and every one of you.